Good morning, YouTube. Look, guys. No more shakiness in the steering wheel. Oh. The road is a little bouncy, so you'll notice some. But yeah, I'm going 70 miles an hour. And there's no more shaking and all that kind of crap going on. I do want to get the steering wheel lined up a little bit, but. Yo. She is running so much better. Almost a thousand dollars later. But we left out this morning. If you watched the last video, you see me preparing the truck and getting everything situated. <clears throat> but uh, we are en route to Denver, Colorado, to Mead, M E A D, Colorado. Uh, dropping off this hazmat load here. We are exactly, according to GPS, a thousand miles away from my destination, 14 and a half hours. Uh, my buddy, 18 Wheels, you guys go subscribe to his channel, 18WILLS. I might be linking up with him today. Depends on how far I get. He's going to be taking a load up to Amarillo, Texas. And if I park to do my 10 hour break in Amarillo, he's going to meet me there. Or I might just say screw it and haul butt. But y'all go check out his channel. Uh, I always say it, there's two 18 wheels. There's one, there's a black dude who's a car hauler, not that channel. There's another guy. But his link is down there in my description. Hit the button that says more. And uh, you'll see a, a link that says link to 18 wheels channel. And then right above that is my wife's channel. Y'all go check them out. But uh, we are en route to Colorado, 999 miles to go. If I didn't have logs, said I'll be there tonight at 11, 11, 11 tonight. If I could just drive it straight through. But truck is running a lot smoother, a lot smoother. And so we're cruising at about 70, I'll cruise at 70 if they would stop hogging the middle lane here. I don't want to go around to the left lane and pass them up because I've seen my fair share of state troopers out here this morning, so they're out here. But beautiful Sunday morning. We shouldn't run into that much traffic. <clears throat> Should be just a little Sunday cruise. All right, now he's moved over. Will you please get over so I can pass you, please? Please. You're just cruising, huh? And I can't pass you in the right lane because there's not enough space to get through. All right, anyway. We have a beautiful Sunday morning. Happy to be alive. <clears throat> uh, picking up this load was not fun. Just with all the uh, issues I had with it. Uh, not with the load itself, but just, it, well, yeah, the, since picking up this load, when they said they weren't gonna load me because it was raining, between that and the placard issue and the registration, it was just this, this whole load. I'm just ready to get this load off of me. You just gonna camp out right here, huh, man? I may have to sneak over into the left lane and pass you up. Okay, there's a bus in the left lane or RV or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. YOLO! Oh, now I pick up truck. Now you want, why are you slowing down? Is there a car in front of you? Everybody's just cruising on a Sunday morning. Uh oh, all right. Can I get over now? Yeah behind you seems like you're cruising at about a decent speed yeah I hang out behind you but yeah so uh, we'll see how far we get today we'll see if we can link up with Will uh, 
Yes, I see these guys over here, but they're all far enough to where I can I'm trying to let this bus over with this RV. Dude, I got over so you can get over, so you gotta be here in the left lane. What, what are you doing? Is that an RV or a bus? Oh, that's a oh, motor coach, okay, yeah. I guess he's gonna hang out in the left lane. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, uh, we shall see how today goes. Should be an easy day, but y'all know usually when I say that. Anyway, okay, there you go, get over, buddy. There you go. But anyway, we got some talking to do today. Uh, I do have a topic in mind. It'll probably be in the uh, in the title of this video somewhere. But uh, y'all know the drill. We're gonna rock out the uh, the old intro for a little while longer until we change the name of the channel. But uh, we're changing the name of the channel to Grind in Gears. Grind, the letter N, Gears. Because we out here grinding. Well, in the FLD, I'm floating gears. But also, y'all know I have a bad, a bad habit of grinding gears, so that's where the name came from. So grinding gears or grind in gears, that is gonna be the new name of the channel. But uh, we'll work on that uh, later. So on changing it up. But anyway, y'all roll the uh, the the usual intro, and I will catch you guys on the other side of it. All right, y'all, we are at the TA Express out here in Fairfield, Texas. Just stop to use the amenities and to do a walk around on our load. Somebody's got those Jake brakes rolling back there. It's a lot better. I just stopped here for a quick bit, a little bit, to do a walk around, and we're about to get back at it. So we're probably about an hour and a half south of Dallas, if that. Ugh, man. Ugh. So today, I'm gonna discuss with you guys, I've been seeing it in the comment section, you know, some smart aleck people saying, uh, what? So what really happened to the FLD? Why did he really park the FLD? Uh, some people were saying, why are you at home? Shouldn't be at the yard working on the FLD? Where's the FLD? Did he sell the FLD? Is he gonna sell the FLD? Did he lose the FLD? You know, did the motor blow up on the FLD? Did he go broke? So today I'm going to discuss with you guys what is going on with the FLD. And future plans for it uh actually uh we're almost ready to move on to the next step with the fld and uh y'all know with the youtube channel the youtube channel brings communities together it brings networks together and that has done so uh, all over again so uh we'll discuss it here in a little bit First, let me get on the interstate so I can get some miles in first and then we will talk about it. What's coming up, uh, what's going to happen with this truck and then what's going to happen with the FLD. So 
let's get a few miles in. Let me at least get to roll and get my juices to flowing. And they had some, uh, I'm a sucker for red velvet cake. Oh my, if you ever want to make my day, get me some red velvet cake. Actually, let's try it before I get on the road here. Mind my own business, walking back from the restroom. And they had these sitting on the little uh, display. Oh man. But I do have my water. I stopped at the pilot this morning and got some water. So I've been sipping on that. I did have a breakfast sandwich. Also, uh, if only if it was room temperature, if only it was cold. Oh, this looks good. Look at that. Y'all see how moist that looks? Moist, moist. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's good. It is. I just wish it was cold. Like straight out the fridge or something. That's the only critique I have. I wish they sold it from like a, like a refrigerator or something. But it is good. It is really good. Yeah, chocolate, red velvet. Ah. Oh. But alright, y'all. Let me try to drink this whole water here. Because with all this hazmat load, we need to uh, pull over every couple of hours anyway to check on it, so. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Allergies. Allergies. But anyway, let's get on this interstate, and we'll talk here in a little bit.
a stranger's tone all right She says I know what I have done But I can't live my life like a bad Came to a sudden stop up here. I was trying to see what this guy in front of me was doing because he kept like hitting his brakes like we were coming to like somewhat of a slowdown. And then out of nowhere, he just slammed on his brakes. Like dang dude, like what in the world just happened? Yeah, he just like slammed on him. Like, we're stopping right now. Oh, okay. That's how you feel about it. But we finally made it out of Dallas. Well, Fort Worth. I took 287 to 820 because we're hazmat, so we can't go up through downtown. Took the boring route around. Took 820 back around to 287. And now we've got nothing to look at scenery wise really pretty much I mean we got a few hills to hit not really mountains but hills to hit but you know honestly we really have nothing to look at until we get to Denver so but yeah guys so um plans for the for the FLD. So here's an update on what's going on or been going on behind the scenes. Now that we're stuck in traffic. And even the sign that said right lane closed like it didn't say anything until last minute. Like, oh by the way the right lane is closed up here. But anyway um, so y'all know let me back up for the new subscribers. So I've been with Landstar for three years. Um the first two years or 18 months or so, I was under a, a fleet. Um, my buddy 18 Wheels was over here at Landstar and he heard about a fleet. I joined that fleet to get me over here as well. Come to find out, I'm not blaming 18 Wheels, so y'all don't even. Uh, Cause everybody, a lot of people fall for these people. Even some of you guys that watch my channel, come to find out y'all have reached out to me and said, hey, I'm getting screwed over by them too. But uh, they ended up screwing me over big time on this quote unquote lease purchase I was doing. They were calling it an owner finance. So I thought it was different until I got over here and found out it's basically a lease purchase. And I found out how much money they were making off of me. And it's just totally ridiculous. Like for instance, they were charging me $200 a week to use a Landstar drive-in and Landstar doesn't even charge that. They don't charge for the drive-in. It's all included in the percentage they take out. If you're doing open deck, then yeah, Landstar charges like 200 bucks a week, but they pay you more in percentage. With drive-in, they don't charge you to a drive-in, but the fleet I was with was charging me 200 bucks a week. That's $800 a month. That is $10,000 a year they were just taking. Not to mention the, per per the percentage they were making off per load. So, y'all know when I first got that FLD and I was doing the revenue updates and I was making less than half that I could have been made with my own truck. But anyway, so I ended up getting, I was with them for about 18 months. I was trying to pay off that truck. It just didn't make sense anymore. We got the FLD thanks to one of our awesome subscribers. He said, hey, I see you're struggling. I got a truck here. I'm willing to work with you on it. I said, all right, cool. 
When we got the FLD. When we got that truck, we said we're gonna build that truck. It's gonna be a project truck, such and such and such and such. All right, cool. Which, that is still the plan. In the meantime, uh, y'all know that uh, we, I've been talking to Florida's finest customs out there in Tampa, Florida. Uh, talking to them, they are gonna be doing the interior on the truck. We're still trying to work out details on that. Uh, and then I uh, I ran the truck for about what three months, four months. Well, January, February we, we ran a truck, made our money. March I took off that month to go to the Mid America Truck Show, and we worked on the truck. You know, got the stacks and everything situated for it. Then I went back to work in March. We grabbed this truck in May, and we've been running this truck ever since. While the FLD is uh, taking a chill pill. So the FLD, I've had an awesome subscriber reach out to me, uh, FJC Trucking. He is out of the Pennsylvania, I think Northeast Pennsylvania. I'm him and his buddy. I did not recall your name, dude. I have an idea of what it is, but I don't want to butcher it. But him and his, uh, his homeboy came out and uh, plus I don't like using names anyway without permission. But anyway. Uh, he and his homeboy, back when I went to Jersey and I had the whole hazmat situation happen, uh, I think they, what, what was it, what were y'all like, two hours or three hours away from me? They jumped in their car in a storm to come meet me face to face, to come shake my hand and say, hi, what's up? Just want to shake your hand and say, you know, keep doing what you're doing. It's people like that that I want to keep in my circle. Uh, and so he had reached out to me So we talked a little bit We talked for good They were there for like two or three hours And they had to drive back home Two or three hours back home I think he was like three hours away Like 200 miles away from me But they drove way out there Just to come shake my hand and say hello And then turned back around and went home Well Since then uh, so He's working on a uh, Building an international truck and he's been saying, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Meanwhile, like certain parts that I need for the FLD, like that, uh, I don't recall what it was, but it was some kind of actu was it an actuator. It was something I needed for the FLD. I don't recall what it was. And he just messaged me and said, hey, this is the part you need, and this is the uh, part number. Lo and behold, he was right. There's been a few things I've had wrong with the FLD, and he would just send me the part number and tell me where I can get it from. So people like that, I want to keep near and dear, you know, in my inner circle. Like Bitter Diesel guy, y'all know Brad. Bitter Diesel guy always got my back. Ain't nothing I can do. That man gonna have my back. Uh. So he reached out to me, re uh, just in uh, in the past, and uh, he said, hey. I'm looking to start a YouTube channel. Like, can you help me, you know, with some pointers? I said, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I gave him some pointers. I know somebody in the comment section is going to say, oh, he's being an opportunist. He's trying to take advantage of you. No. Even if he is, he has been very helpful. Super helpful, but looking out for me. Even when he linked up with me at the, uh, the truck stop, when they drove 200 miles to come see me, he brought his toolbox uh, what was I? I was in I was in Jersey when I parked at that TA out there, and I got my uh, I think I had a I replaced a tire on the uh, on the trailer. This was right before I dropped off in Jersey, and I had to go up to Vermont to grab that load and all that kind of stuff. This is when he met up with me. Uh, he brought his toolbox so that he can get to work on the FLD. It's like, dude, like what in the, what in the world? It was pouring down rain. I was like, nah, dude, like nah, uh, uh. We'll worry about it another time. Don't worry about it. And he wouldn't take any money from me. So, the only thing I could do that now, he let me buy him like a, I think a chicken sandwich from the Burger King or whatever. That's the only thing he let me buy. Just for me saying thank you. Wouldn't take no money or nothing. And so uh, he reached out to me and said, hey, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Like, what do you think about this, that, and third? And so I gave him a few pointers. And uh, we you know, just started talking. And so he's like, so when are you bringing an FLD out here to me? 
I said, soon, sir, soon. He's like, well, make it sooner than later. You know, I'm ready to get to work on the FLD. And I was like, you know what? I'll make it happen. We'll get the FLD out there to you. I'll see if I can get 18 wheels to help me drive it out there. I will drive it 1,500 miles to you. So, uh, you know, so you can get to work on the FLD. And, uh, of course, I tried to get the man to take money from me, and he would not. So, what I'm going to do is, I know it'll be content for his channel. He's just getting started. It will help him for his channel. I'm going to drop off the FLD to him for about a month. Between two weeks to a month, I'm going to drop, uh, drive it up there to him. Drop it off for two weeks to a month. Let him do anything and everything he wants to do to that truck. Of course, I'll pay for the parts and everything. Do anything and everything he wants to do to that truck. And when he's done, I'll go out there and pick it up. Now, as far as painting the truck, he's not going to paint the truck. As far as uh, the interior, Florida, Florida's Finest Customs is going to do that. He's going to do, probably do some electrical work, whatever he can do and whatever he wants to do. I'm going to wash my hands of it. But he's going to do a lot of, mostly the mechanical stuff on that truck. Work on the mechanical stuff on it, knock that out, and then uh, I'll worry about getting the cosmetic stuff done at uh, Florida's Finest Customs, and y'all know I got a, a few options on a place to, uh, to paint it. Now, if he can paint, if he knows how to paint, I'll let him paint the truck too. Uh, but I know with painting, you got to have a spot you can do it at and everything. So uh, we are going to be partnering up with FJC Trucking. He was in our uh, YouTube live the other night. We are going to be partnering up with him. And he's going to be doing the mechanical stuff. Uh, replacing all the brakes. Maybe a tire or two. Uh, any lights. Uh, what else? Uh, hoses, clamps. Brackets, yeah, you name it, he's going to go through and replace all of it. Gaskets, he's going to go through and do all of it. So, big shout out. Y'all go subscribe to him. I will leave his information down there in the description below. Uh, his uh, link, y'all go subscribe to him. Let's start him off at about 100 to 200 subscribers. Like I said, he's also, he's working on an international. And he also just bought a flatbed trailer that he's also building. So he's building it from scratch. I wish you would have got content. I wish you would have got content when you first started working on that, uh, the international. Excellent job. And so, uh, you know what? You know what? Since you're getting the YouTube started, I'll, uh, I'll pledge to getting you the equipment you need to get your channel started. You'll need a GoPro. You'll need a head mount, tripods, You'll need all that stuff. So I pledge to get that stuff for you since you're looking out for me on this bill. Um, so we'll drive the truck 1,500 miles out there to him, drop it off, I'll fly home. I really wanted to be there with him to get it done just for the content, but uh, I already took the month of March off and that was bad enough. So, and then when he gets the truck done, I will hop back into the FLD and then this truck will be ready for our driver. That is the plan. As of right now and today, if I have no more repairs on this thing, that is the repair. Today is July, what is today? The 21st, I think, Sunday. So sometime in August, we are gonna be dropping off the truck to him when it cools down a little bit, because I don't want him to be out there when it's hot, working on the truck. So probably late August, September or so, if not earlier, but preferably. I'll drive the truck out there to him, drop it off, and then he'll go through the whole entire truck, let me know everything I need uh, at that moment, and then everything I'm going to need in the near future, and he's going to go through that whole entire truck. And we're going to be posting up all the content on his page. All the work that he does to the truck will be uh, shown on his page. So, FJC Trucking challenge accepted to you.
So we're gonna drive the truck out there to him and uh, get him plugged in. He is now part of the, uh, I guess the new name of the channel is gonna be Grinding Gears. He's a part of the network, he's a part of the family now. And so between him and Bearded Diesel Guy, Caveman, like y'all three, we got we we got some stuff coming. We've got some stuff coming up in the future. So uh, y'all know I'm planning on getting more trucks, like how we got this one here, and uh, we're going to be fixing them up, putting them to work, and uh, putting drivers in them. And y'all know we want to treat our drivers right. Some people were saying, "Why would you pay your driver to be at home for home time?" Because it's fair. If he's out there busting his behind for three to six weeks at a time for me, if he decides to, which I don't plan on him being out there. I want him to be home every weekend or every other weekend with his family. But uh, if he's out there three to six weeks at a time, yeah, I want to pay him home time. That's how it should be. If I was a company driver, that's how I would want to get paid. When I was over at Frozen Food Express, KLLM, that's how I got paid. He's going to be a W-2 employee. When I was over there, we got paid holiday pay. We got paid sick pay. We got paid PTO, you know, paid time off. Uh, breakdown, when I was a Cardinal Logistics, I got paid breakdown, uh, breakdown pay. Every hour that I was broke down somewhere, flat tire, any kind of breakdown on the truck that was not due to negligence, you know, we got paid 20 bucks an hour. When we had to sit somewhere for detention, we got paid 20 bucks an hour because I was a W-2 employee. There are trucking companies out there that pay for it. And so while I was with a KLLM, or Frozen Food Express, if we stayed out, it was either three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, or six weeks, I don't recall what it was. If we stayed out that long, uh, I think they paid us $75 a day or $100 a day, I forgot what it is, but that's fair. I mean, I went out there and made them all this money, that is fair. Because when you're at home, if you're out there three to six weeks at a time, and you go home for a week, you don't make no money, then you gotta go a week in a hole. I don't want to put him a week in a hole either. I want to treat our driver fair. I want to treat him and be an example to how every driver should be treated and how every tri driver should be compensated. So we'll get him situated on this truck eventually. Like I said, some kind of a lease purchase kind of a arrangement. No balloon payment at the end. Truck payments that are fair. Um, but at the same time to where it can be, it can be paid off in a year. So that's how we want to do it. We'll draft up a contract, you know, and we'll get more trucks like this and uh, work it out, pay them fairly. But uh, I don't know, we're still working out all the details on it. So maybe he'll be W2 and then 1099 after. I don't know, well, that'd be between me and him and how we work everything out. But everything's gonna be legit. How, how I would want to be treated as a driver, I want to offer our drivers the opportunity to work out my dream job my dream trucking job so but yeah y'all so that's the plan for the FRD FJC trucking y'all go subscribe to his channel go check out the video or two he has up as of now I'm working on his truck and just kind of showing you guys what's to come but uh I'm excited about the bill he's got on his channel too I want to go out there and see it in person but uh yeah FJC trucking y'all go subscribe to him like I said link down and hit the button that says more You'll see my description. You'll see the name down there. And you'll see it around, probably I put it under a 18 wheels name. But y'all go check him out. Big shout out to him. But uh, I'll probably pull over here in another 50 miles to do another mid-trip inspection. And there's a steak and shake down here. I need to get my calories up for the day. So I've been about finished my water. So time to get something to eat. I've been doing like your morning fasting somewhat. So I need to give me something to eat. So anyway, y'all, big shout out to FJC Trucking. Excited to work with you. If I could be out there to work with you on the truck, I would, but uh, I'll make it a little weekend trip, Friday, Saturday, drive out there, drop it off to you, and then get on back home and get back to work. I might even book a load out there to you so we can come see it. But anyway, that's the plan y'all were asking kind of had it cooking for a little while I just didn't want to say anything and jeopardize anything or sabotage well set me up for, ta for uh, sabotage but, but yeah so that is the plan we finally got the arrangements worked out 
and now we just gotta work out the dates. So, but yeah, so I need to get you some equipment so you can get started on your channel. So, but yeah, big shout out to you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, hopefully this will help your channel and you know get some traction to it. So, anyway, y'all. Uh, and then once we get the FLD situated, hopefully by then we'll have our hands on the uh, on the classic, on the Freightliner Classic. So let's uh, hope and pray everything goes well the next couple of weeks. So anyway, y'all, let's get back to rolling. Just wanted to give y'all the update as what's to going on and and uh, let y'all know what we've been kind of hiding behind the scenes. So anyway, back to work. Nice peak right there, y'all. It won't focus. And a nice little W9, too. So, yeah, we're getting fuel out here just outside of Wichita Falls, Texas. I'm just going to go ahead and top her off. I didn't need fuel, but just want to top her off so we ain't got to stop no more. Um, did I win? The weather got crazy for a little bit. But all those accidents on 287 with the rain... This is why I don't like driving in the rain. People do not know how to drive. There was an 18 wheeler flipped over into the ditch. Uh, another car, I don't know what happened with that car. It, it, but I don't know, it was all smashed up or whatever. But uh, this is why I don't like driving in the rain because people don't know how to drive. They do stupid stuff. And the last thing I want you to do is have your stupidity impact me. But. We're gonna push on, we're on 287. There ain't nobody else out here. It's gonna be some, just basically just us. But the rain has followed us. I stopped here, I got some barbecue. Really good barbecue, or decent, decent barbecue, decent, at the Texas Best Smokehouse. Uh, sat down, actually got to enjoy my meal because we're just Cadillacing today. We're just chilling. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get fuel here and we'll get back on the road here in a little bit. But I can't believe the rain caught up to me though. And it's like cold rain too. Oof. Like it was hit me in the back while I was over over there getting some fuel. And it was hit me. I was like, ah. So anyway. But yeah, I just talked to 18 Wheels and he said he'll go with me on that trip to uh to uh Scranton, Pennsylvania. His favorite city in America is Scranton. Never been there, but his favorite show is The Office. Uh, and that's one of our things that we like to watch. And so the, it's based out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. So he's excited to go out there and uh, 
to see some of the scenery out there, but so probably uh late August we'll uh we'll shoot out there. We've got about ninety gallons. About three hundred and twelve dollars. But uh, with the Landstar discount, I'll get a um, a rebate back. Man, that's dang rain, man. I was not trying to shoot. It's been raining, what, the past couple of days? Like back, so I was in Dallas when it started raining last week. It followed me out there to Baton Rouge. And now it's following me out here to Amarillo. But we almost got 90 gallons. Hopefully it gets to 90. But yeah, we get, um, I should have got fuel at the TA earlier because we get uh, really good fuel points at the TAs for Landstar drivers for July and August. They're giving us four times the points, which is really good. So I need to start filling up at the TA Petro so I can get, start to come, uh, accumulating those points. But all right, y'all, rain has definitely picked up. I need to put my boots on actually. But let's go hang up this pump and uh, put some more miles in. When you're alone and feeling down And you're 10 feet underground When you're so deep you're about to drown when you're in the lost and found cause heartaches only last a day been editing all night i've been parked here for a couple of hours now but just doing some editing that i should have done over the weekend but i was working on the intro all weekend but we are here in amarillo texas i can smell the uh the, the cattle haulers in the air 
Uh, beautiful truck, by the way. Like, if you look down that way, you can see some beautiful cattle haulers. That is one thing I love about coming out here to uh, Amarillo. But we're about seven hours straight shot, but in a truck, eight hours away from our delivery. We'll probably get up at about six in the morning. That'll get us there about two o'clock our time, but like 1 p.m. their time, because we're gaining an hour going out west. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the scale houses tomorrow, because with hauling the hazmat, I do have my permits and everything. Uh, with hauling the hazmat, they can be a little picky, just a, just a little bit, but we're light, so I'm hoping we can just breeze on through tomorrow. We're only eight hours away, so I'm praying that the, uh, they give us a break, cut us a break, and that most of the scales are probably closed. But there's one scale that I know for sure that's gonna be that's gonna be open out there in uh, what's that Lamar, Colorado? They're usually open all the time, so hopefully they're closed. But they're probably open. But we're light. The load's only. 10,000, 12,000 pounds, at most 15,000 pounds. So I'm not really worried too much about that, so. But yeah, but I called Landstar on the paperwork. Y'all know when I picked up the load on the paperwork and placarding and all that stuff, just to make sure that we were good and that I sent them over everything. And they were like, yeah, you're ready to roll. You are DOT legal. And so I said, all right, cool. But uh, anyway, y'all. But yeah, just wanted to give y'all the, expla uh, the explanation earlier. Sorry, y'all, my allergies are starting to act up. But wanted to give y'all that explanation as to what's going on with the FAD, what our plans are. So, uh, FJC, big shout out to you. Coming soon, we have the FLD, uh, uh, FLD, not the FLD bill, because technically he's doing like the mechanical stuff on the FLD. And so I have a whole list of things I want to do on that truck. I want everything just about brand new on it. And so uh, brakes, hoses, bearings, clamps, you name it. I want to get everything done on that truck. That way we can jump in it and ain't got to worry about nothing for a while. So that's kind of what we're doing with this truck. But uh, just take it a, you know, day by day on this one. So but anyway, I'm waiting on 18 wheels to get here. He should be here in a little while. So I'll get some footage of him first thing in the morning. His, there's plenty of parking here. So he'll probably park right about there and we'll get some content. We'll be leaving out around the same time in the morning. So but he'll be here in a little bit. Doesn't make sense to get any content tonight because it's dark out here. So we'll uh, get it in the daytime. So anyway, y'all, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, like, and uh, We'll get into some more conversation tomorrow as to what's to come to the channel and what we got planned. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below what y'all think about the uh, about the plans for the truck. And I'm gonna catch you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow.